ever. I have had acne since the age of 12, and so I've had acne for the last 16 years. 16 years of acne. I have been on everything from Accutane. I have tried absolutely everything. And let me clarify in this video, I am not a doctor. I am not a holistic doctor, but I do believe doctors try to sell you stuff. And I'm not here today to sell you anything. I've done a ton of research. I have taken everything from like zinc to been on Accutane. I've tried green tea. I've tried absolutely everything in the past 16 years to combat my acne and cure it. I have been on things like proactive. I've been on really natural stuff where I haven't washed my face and used coconut oil. I have done everything. And this is the one thing that I have found that has actually stopped my acne from reoccurring. Say hello to my little friend. This little guy is turmeric and I have a tendency to say turmeric, but I have no idea why. I usually say turmeric instead of turmeric, turmeric. So this little guy is fresh turmeric. You can get it ground up and in a powder form, but I prefer fresh. It is fairly expensive, but I managed to get a, like a whole big bowl or bag of it for about roughly about $20. You can find it at most health food stores that have like produce and at most health co-ops. It might take a while to hunt it down, but it is possible to find it down. It's actually one of the best exports from India and it's primarily, primarily grown in India. So it's a really, really neat root and it's actually part of the ginger family. So guys, what I usually do every single morning when I wake up, the first thing I do is put on my kettle and put some, get some hot water. I pour that hot water into a two liter mason jar. And what I do is I grate up some ginger roughly about this big of a piece. So not, not too big about the size of, I don't know, about, it's about an inch by about an inch and a half or about two inches by an inch and a half, I should say. So about that much. And then I take some turmeric and I use about roughly about three pieces of these little guys. So I have two here right now, but I usually use three. And what I do is I grate all this stuff up. And what you can do is if you have one of those tea casings, like those tea dunker thingies, I have no idea what they're called, but they're kind of mesh looking. I instead do not have those <laughs> being a minimalist. And what I use is a mesh produce bag, as you can see here, that's stained yellow. And I should forewarn you right now, if you chop turmeric or grate it, don't do it on a white surface or anything that you're worried about getting stained because it will stain. And every morning when I grate it, I get yellow hands be forewarned that that does happen. You can clean it up with a magic eraser, but really who knows what's in a magic eraser. I think it's fairly toxic. So just try to prevent this from happening. I cut everything up on my wood cutting board and I don't care if it gets stained because it just makes it look more pretty. So what I do is I grate everything up, put it in this mesh little bag and then I dunk that in there and I leave it in there for roughly about 15 minutes to half an hour. Most of the time I like my tea to cool down. So I'll leave it out for about two hours sometimes. Um, and then it's more drinkable for me. When I first started drinking my tea, what I used to do is I used to pour a bunch of maple syrup in it. Most of the time organic, this one's not organic, but I would pour maple syrup in it. That said, now I'm trying to drink it without the maple syrup because I've gotten used to the taste. Turmeric has a very distinctive taste. It tastes kind of weird. I at first thought it was really, really weird, but I've gotten used to it. It has, I want to say like, it's almost like a gingery flavor, but not quite with a muted taste and tastes somewhat like curry, but not quite. And random factoid, the reason why curry is yellow is because of an added bit of turmeric. That's what makes it yellow. I don't know if you can see right now, but I've lost my spoon in my tea. <laughs> so my spoon is in there. 
So I've been using this method of drinking tea every morning and drinking it slowly throughout the day to combat my acne. And I didn't think at first that it would work, but it actually did work. And I the reason why I only started drinking it at all was because of the added health benefits. I didn't think it was gonna cure my acne, but it has, which is nuts. It's the only thing that I've changed in the past probably a week or so that has done anything. And suddenly I stopped getting new pimples, I stopped getting any cysts, nothing. Um, the only thing that I have on my face right now are healing acne or healing pimples or bumps. And I think that's absolutely amazing because there has not been a time in the past 16 years that I haven't had a pimple occur. So this is quite amazing for me. Why is turmeric so beneficial? Well, it's antifungal, it's anti-inflammatory, and what it does is it goes into your body, it fights pain, it has anti-cancer properties, and it, because of it wants to fight all the free radicals in your body, it stops inflammation of acne and all the bacterial things that happen with acne. So that's the reason why I think it is decrease my acne entirely. What I have not tried, but I have heard is amazing, is a turmeric mask. What you do is you get the powdered turmeric. I guess you could use fresh turmeric, but you'd have to grate it very, very finely. And what you do is you add that in with like um, water and you make a paste out of it. You could probably even add some clay if you're into doing clay masks. And what you do is you put it on your skin. Now you leave it on for about 20 minutes and then you just wash it off. Now be forewarned again, turmeric stains. So you will have a yellow face unless you really try to get it off. <laughs> hence why I haven't tried it yet, but I do plan on trying it. A lot of people have seen benefits, and what happens is it's because turmeric is so antibacterial, it does prevent acne on the surface from occurring or heals existing acne. Now that said, I don't think that everything you put on your skin can help acne. I believe acne is more than just skin deep. It has to do with stuff in your body. If you have digestive troubles or your liver is not detoxing properly or something is occurring and is out of balance in your body, your acne will come up to warn you that something is not right in your body. What I think acne is, is a direct link to your diet and what is going on with you in your body. It could be stress related, it could be diet related, it could be hormonal. And what I have is hormonal acne. And I believe this is because of um, my gut bacteria and things like that, because I have celiac disease and other autoimmune diseases. I think my acne is a direct sign telling me, listen, your body isn't happy. Do something about it. Help me. Basically, acne is a cry for help from your body. It's just saying, help me. So what turmeric tries to do is tries to help your body in a bunch of different ways. It, anything from like anti-inflammatory to antibacterial, helping combat pain in the body. This is something that you should have every day in your regimen. Every morning you should be drinking this, regardless of whether you have really bad acne or not. I think this would really, really help anyone. I wanted to like make a video about this right away. As soon as I realized I was having benefits from it, I will make a video probably about a month or maybe six months from now, letting you guys know what's going on with my skin, what's going on with my acne then, just to give you a rough update from it. I will continue to be drinking my ginger turmeric tea, and you can add in maple syrup if you want, you could add in coconut sugar if you want, but really you should cut down the refined sugars, hence why I'm not drinking stuff with sugar in it and trying to cut down you know, on even my maple syrup consumption. It's not just, you don't need it. So that's just some advice for you guys. I hope you can take it and that your acne clears up. Please comment below if you have tried this sport before and it's worked for you. Um, and please comment below if you do try it and let me know how it's going with you. Now, I don't 
think that this will work for everyone. I think it'll work for certain people. Um, but I think that you should try anything to help your acne. And if you've tried and exhausted a bunch of other things, you should at least give this a try. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a like, and please hit the subscribe button. I like talking about minimalism, parenting, epic parenting, being an epic mom, and talking about all things health related, including my acne. So hit subscribe.